I'm really feeling this mini mouse little thing. I think it's very cute. Anyway, thank you for clicking on this video. I want to try something new for this video and it's gonna be with the Morphe foundation and their hide and seek concealer. I really like how they both pair together, even though they're not meant for each other, but I really like how they went on together. Very hydrating. I love the foundation, the concealer. I love the packaging because I love the glass tube, and this one is glass as well. I got the color Peak of Sepia. That's it right there. But I'm going to stop rambling. And I'm going to let y'all just jump into the video and see how I applied the foundation and the concealer together. And don't forget to like this video, y'all. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up, y'all. And subscribe to this channel. And leave a comment down below if you're willing to do that. And I'll see you all in my next video. Bye. So the Filter Effect Focus Foundation is all about natural finish and hydrated skin. It's Luxe Long Wearing Medium Coverage Foundation designed to blur and diffuse the look of imperfections. It's buildable with 40 shades. It's sweat proof, transfer proof, and waterproof for up to 12 hours. It also says that for an extra boost of hydration, it makes a drop of priming beauty oil directly into your foundation. Also, they said the best way to use it on their website is with a beauty sponge and to use cream formulas for your blush, bronzer, and the other complexion products. And to set everything, it's best to use a loose powder. So I'm just gonna use a beauty sponge like they suggested. And I got the Filter Rich 27. Why my stuff never wanna come out? Okay. It's not moving. That's good. The shade is blending out to be my shade. Yeah, I feel like it just blends all right to my face. I'm gonna need a few more pumps because that wasn't enough. All right, so this is how it looks with just the first application. I'm gonna add one more application just because I want a more fuller look. And for the concealer, it's the Morphe 2 Hot and Peak Concealer. I have Peak of Sepia, I hope that's right. And it says there's 15 shades. It's lightweight, natural looking finish, blends seamlessly. It conceals problem spots or brightening dark circles for up to 12 hours. It's buildable, light to medium coverage. So I'm excited to try this. Oh, oh. I got the shade similar to the foundation just because I wanted to see how it's gonna look because normally I would get like a shade lighter or or shade lighter or two shades lighter than foundation but not with this one just to see how how it would look if I didn't because I like to have my under eyes very bright and anything else that I conceal I want it to be bright Let's see. Definitely lightweight because it's not a thick concealer, which is fine. All right, so this is the second layer. I let it sit for a little bit because I realized when I didn't let it sit, it was going on pretty slippery. Like, it looked like I wasn't putting anything on. So I let it sit for a minute, just so it could stay.
All right, so I thought I was filming and I wasn't. I said everything with the translucent powder is just the cover girl translucent one. I'm gonna go ahead and do the rest of my face, my eyes and all that off camera and I'll come back and let y'all know how everything's set and what I like and what I didn't like about the duo. All right, so I finished the rest of my makeup off screen and everything like that. I like this foundation and concealer. The concealer, actually this concealer was good as well. But the foundation i really liked it it went on really really smooth it wasn't drying fast um i was able to blend everything out and and then it dried like later on it didn't dry too quick and i felt like i was putting like on my face i was putting moisturizer on my face instead of foundation it's very hydrating and after setting everything with the translucent powder it's set pretty nice it looks pretty even it matches my neck matches pretty even the concealer when you first put it on it's like wet like really really wet and i had as soon as i put it on i had blended it out which was good in no sense but then i was while I was applying it, it was kind of disappearing a little bit, not too much, a little bit. But then when I did leave it on, I put another layer, I let it sit for a little bit. It kind of dried. It left like a like patch. I would definitely wear it again. And I feel like even though it's not a shade lighter, cause that's what I normally do um, for concealers, I usually do like a shade lighter or two shades lighter. It's, this one is not but I really like how it made everything look. It's not all the time I need to be bright under my eyes, you know, but you know what I mean? But I really like this one and the foundation as well. I will definitely be using this again. The packaging, very amazing. I love the packaging and the concealer packaging as well. Probably gonna order another one. I really like them together as a combo. I mean, it's not, like, it's not full coverage. You can build it up to where it won't leave you patchy, but it didn't cover everything for me. I kept adding and adding and adding foundation, and I finally got the look I wanted, and it still looks nice and fresh. That's the end of the video, y'all. I hope you all enjoyed it in this new little combo I did for you guys today. I'll see you all in my next video. Bye.